Welcome to Morning Reflections, brought to you by Raising Dreamers Ministries. I'm Teresa Gross, and this week I'd like to talk about hearing God. I recently read a verse that caught my ear, you might say, Luke 8, 18, and this is what it says. Take heed therefore how you hear, for whosoever has, to him will be given. And whosoever has not from him shall be taken even that which he seems to have. Now, you might ask, why would God give to someone who has? They've already got. And take away from someone who doesn't have. They're the ones that need. But it didn't really say that. Don't get confused with that. This is what it breaks down as. Take heed, therefore, how you hear, meaning how you listen. Whoever has, whoever has what? A teachable spirit. Someone who has developed an attitude of learning, of obeying. That's a teachable heart. Someone that you can teach and they will do likewise. That's a teachable heart. To him uh, who has not, uh, who doesn't have what, who doesn't have a longing for truth, will be taking away what he even seems to have. So either you'll have a teachable heart and you'll get more understanding, or you will have mm, a heart that doesn't long for truth, who doesn't make it your own, and that which you have, or seem to have, will crumble. It will be exposed. You will find that there is no strength in it. There's no truth in it. It's just head knowledge. So a person who doesn't use his knowledge or understanding has no real possession of it. It's your actions that prove your, prove your heart. Out of your heart flow the issues of life. So you have to protect it. You have to guard your heart. And where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So what do you dig? What are you digging? What are you seeking and working toward? What is your treasure? Is it to obey God? It says, that word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Hide his words in your heart. Write them upon the tablets of your heart that you may obey every word. Okay, so there was a parable that Jesus gave us about two men who were builders and they built houses. And one man, he built his house on the sand. But when the winds came, the storm came, it collapsed. I bet you it had a great view. You could see all the way across the ocean. The sun came out and it was just so beautifully decorated and landscape, but it had no foundation. And when the troubles came, that foolish man who did not obey the rules of life, he built his house on what seemed to be good instead of what God said was right, that house collapsed. And so it will in a person's life. But the other man, he was a wise man. He built his house on the rock. He dug down to the bedrock and he built it on that foundation. And when the winds and the rains came, it could not destroy it because it was built upon the rock. Now, in the same way, we find God's word describes a fool as someone who's unwilling to listen to wisdom, who's unwilling to learn discipline, who is unteachable. In other words, they know what is right to do and they don't do it. So I'm going to read in closing a few scriptures from James 1, 1 Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like to a man beholding his face in a glass. And when he beholds himself, he goes away and he immediately forgets what manner of person he was. But whosoever looks into the perfect law of, of liberty, God's word, what God is saying to you, and continues, obeys it, 
he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. All right, here's another version, and I like the way it recaps it. Basically, it says, do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Friend, if God has spoken something to you, and you have not obeyed it, just turn around. Just choose today to obey in each step. That next step, just walk toward the light, and he will give you more. To him who has, to him who obeys, he will give more. See you tomorrow.